y'all. I am Simone C. Welcome to my YouTube channel or welcome back. Today, y'all, we have an exciting video. Today is all about Sephora, okay? I have a haul of goodies to share with you all. Everything I picked up from skincare to hair care, makeup, fragrance, and so much more. So if you're interested to see everything that I picked up, please stay tuned and keep on watching. Okay, starting off with fragrance, I picked up the YSL Flowers and Flames Perfume. This release happened earlier this year and you all, I am just getting around to trying it out and smelling it in stores. I'm not a fan of the original YSL scents, they're kind of like dark for me, but when I heard that they released something floral, I just had to try it out. This is what the bottle looks like, super cute, very classy, very bougie, okay? The standard, you know, gold chain around the neck of the bottle and their YSL logo. I picked up the one ounce bottle. It just smells so good, you all. Oh my goodness, like, wow. <laughs> Immediately in store, I picked up the floral, I picked up the flames. It's like a nice mix between sweet, but yet warm and vanilla. The young lady that was helping me around the store recommended this scent as well. She said it's one of her favorites from YSL. It's so good, you all, that I think I might go back with a bigger bottle. Seriously. <laughs> it is described as a warm and sensual sun-kissed interpretation of the iconic Libre. And beneath this blazing floral blast, rich vanilla adds warmth and an unforgettable, long-lasting effect. And I couldn't agree more, you all. I was literally smelling this like all my clothes, my hair, everything the next day. Run to Sephora, you all. Pick this up, try it, test it. You won't be disappointed. Okay, up next, let's jump into hair care. Also, another recent release this year, I picked up Fenty Hair Care, okay? I finally got my hands on this bad boy right here. This is called their Maintenance Crew Universal Starter Kit, and it includes the Rich One Moisture Repair Shampoo, the Richer One Moisture Repair Deep Conditioner, the Comeback Kit Instant Damage Repair Treatment, and the Protective Type 5-in-1 Heat Protectant Styler. We love our hair, you all. We love our tresses. We love our locks. You know, the crown of us is very important to maintain and to upkeep. Because I am new to this product, I decided to start with the testers instead. And whatever I love, I'll go back for the full-size product, of course. I've been hearing so many good things about Rihanna's hairline, you all, so I'm super excited to get my hands on it and to finally try it for myself. Let's open the conditioner, because this is like one of her most popular products. Mmm, it smells really good. It smells like something just like my hairdresser used to use in the salon in the 90s in my hair and my mom's hair, y'all. This smells so good. And the texture is very thick and rich. I see why it's called the richer one, okay? <laughs> so I can't wait to do like a deep, you know, hair conditioning mask on my hair and my daughter's hair with this. This shampoo also has a nice, pleasant, you know, very subtle smell. So does the Instant Repair. Nice. Mm, and the 5-in-1 styling cream. For a mini size starter kit, this is actually pretty good. Like, the sizes are pretty good. You can definitely get a few wash days with these. Also from Fenty Hair, I picked up the Edge Control Gel and her Edge Brush. I just love how well the packaging matches, okay? I'm a sucker for packaging, yes. So let's open this up and see what it looks like and what it smells like. Okay, not much of a scent going on here with the gel, but it is pretty. I like the container. Very different flip top. And as far as the edge brush goes, you all. Again, it's a three-in-one styling tool, so you have the brush, the comb, and the rat tail portion. And I love that the rat tail is like in rose gold. Super duper pretty, super cute. So I plan to use this to suit my baby edges, my baby hairs, just like so. So I'll definitely be sure to come back and let you all know how I like this. Next in hair care, I picked up another kit. This is the Pattern Palo Santo Mini Stylers Kit. This includes her leave-in conditioner, her curl mousse, and her styling cream. I have never tried anything from Tracy Ellis Ross, nothing from her hairline just yet. So because I'm brand new to Pattern, this is the way to start with the mini sizes. There's a lot of great reviews and testimonies on this new line that she just dropped recently. I plan to use the mousse in my daughter's hair, her box braids, you know, the boho curly hair look, and my curly wigs. Let's open the styling cream and see what that smells like. Mmm, smells so good, just like a 90s salon. Wow, these two women know what they're doing. Mm-hmm, they know what they're doing. 
Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so I think I'll be using this on my daughter's twist outs because it's suggested to apply to wet or dry hair, formulated for coilies and tight textures. I love leave-in conditioners because I like to leave my hair with, you know, something nourishing on it. And my hair is taken care of in between styles. And yes, this smells just like the styling cream. Oh my goodness, this leave-in conditioner smells so good. I can't wait to leave this on my hair. Seriously. <laughs> you all, if you haven't tried this yet, please go into the store and try the samples, try the testers. You won't be disappointed. That's it for hair care, so let's jump into body care. Fenty Skin recently released their Butter Drop Body Milk. We all know, love, and rave about her Butter Drop Body Butter. But now she has a lotion for us. I'm so excited. I love anything with pumps on it, so yes. And did you hear that? No way. This is frosted glass. Okay, Rihanna, stop. Stop it right now, please. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is so bougie. Let's see how it comes out. I didn't try this in the store, so I'm just like, I want the lotion. That's it. End of story. I'm getting it. I'm picking it up. Okay. <laughs> Okay, it smells just like the original formula, the Butter Drop Body Butter. Very good, nice, clean scent. And not too watery. Ooh, I like this. I'm excited to use this, you know, during my shower routines. So if you guys are a fan of the body butters, but don't want to, you know, open a container or a jar, get this Easy Pump 123. Speaking of fancy body butters, I picked up her newly released holiday collection. As you know, every year she comes out with different scents for, you know, the holidays and the season. So I picked up these. These are going to be gifted to my loved ones. These are the Mini Whipped Body Cream Trio. It comes with the original body butter scents, salted caramel, and toasted marshmallow. I just love the colors of these, especially the salted caramel. Let's see what she smells like. Mmm, it smells so good and warm. Kind of like baked goods in the jar. But she does have like an after scent when I tried her in stores. So that's the only little thing I would say about this one. But I guess it just depends on your preference. Up next, Toasted Marshmallow. I was really excited about this one. Yeah, this smells really good. Just like a marshmallow. Yeah. Light, fluffy, and sweet. And in stores, I did love how this one dried down on the skin. And of course, her original clean scent. Yeah, this is the OG. Of course, it smells good. <laughs> So yes, you all, if you know anyone that's into fall scents and like the nice warm spices, pick this up. I think it will make a great gift for the holidays. And to accompany the body butters, I picked up the lip oil trios. I just love how well the packaging matches. They're just so cohesive. I plan to pair these together as like the ultimate gift. I picked up not one, not two, but three of them because you know how to make sure my daughter and I are also covered, okay? <laughs> We love the Fenty Lip Oils. I talk about it all the time on my channel. And this is the Fenty Skin Fruit Quenchers. It comes with her original existing two scents, the Barbados Cherry and the Kalahari Melon. But what really drew this to me was the newly released scent, Passion Fruit, okay? And let me tell you all, it's so cute. Look at the color. The packaging actually has a passion fruit on it and it smells just like passion fruit. Okay? <laughs> I tried this earlier on my lips today and it smells so, so, so good. Mmm. Yep. You all, try this, try this, pick it up. I'm telling you, you're gonna love it. And here's what all three colors look like. Super pretty. Up next, another body butter that I picked up is the Sol de Janeiro Delicia Drench Body Butter. This features a Chirosa 59 fragrance, which I also have. <laughs> these two scents smell so good in store that I had to pick it up as, you know, a duo. These run in the warm and spicy sweet gourmand family, which is something that I absolutely love. As you see, I did pick up a lot of body butters already and scents and fragrances, so I'm thinking to just keep the plastic on these two and maybe gift them to somebody this holiday season. This is described as a deep moisture, repairing skin, protective barrier, and calming redness type of butter. Oh so good, okay? Step into your local Sephora and test them out. Also from Sol de Janeiro, this is a repurchase for me. I picked up their Bum Bum Body Oil. This body firmizer oil visibly firms and depuffs skin because it features their caffeine in it and algae extract. This thing is a pretty penny oil just for oil, but 
I think it's worth it. It smells really good and it gives a beautiful glow to my skin. And here's what she looks like. You can, you know, just pour the oil out from the top or add a pump. I did pick this up last year and it was so good. I've been waiting for the next sale to repurchase it, okay? I do believe this runs for about 50 or 60 bucks, so yeah, this is the perfect time for this. And just look at the glow on my hands. Do you guys see the difference? I'm telling you, you're gonna love it. <laughs> Literally a scent to die for, oh my goodness. Yes, just like I remember it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Also on the body care line, I picked up the Necessaire body wash, but not their eucalyptus, you know, famous scent. This is their newly released Oli Banam, and this smells just like a clean spa scent, okay? You all know what I'm talking about. That scent that you walk in when they have like all the different aromas in the room before you get your massage, yeah. This is it. <laughs> I love the new pretty brown top. Just twist up. Mm, what a beautiful fragrance. I know this is going to smell so good once you add it to your loofah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this wash targets dull skin. It has multiple enzymes. Vitamin C, E, and niacinamide. So I'll be sure to come back and let you all know how this works out. On to the next skincare item. I picked up the Clarence Skincare Essentials Kit which includes their infamous double serum, their V Facial Intensive Wrap, and their Total Eye Lift. I've been hearing so many good things about the double serum and the eye lift, but again, because this is new to me, I didn't want to splurge like $100 just on the full-size eye cream, so this is the best way to start. And this is what everything looks like. I did try the eye lift cream today, so stay tuned for that video to see my thoughts on it. I'm especially excited to try this serum before bedtime, y'all, so yes, yes, yes. It claims to be plant-powered, including reed and turmeric, and promises to refine your pores in seven days. Wow, that's major. Visibly lifts and contours the face with anti-aging properties. Yes, I'm excited. <laughs> Last in skincare, but certainly not least, is our favorite topicals, eye patches. Known to help with darkness and puffiness under the eyes. And here's what they look like, super pretty. Another repurchase, my problem is that I need to be consistent with it to see if I really like it and if they are really effective at brightening the under eye as they claim to be. So hopefully consistency is something I can work on in the new year with these. Okay, so we're done with hair care, skin care, body care, and fragrance. Now, it's time to jump in my favorite category of all time, which is the makeup. Le Beat. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> I did feature the majority of these products today on my face, so please be sure to look out for that makeup tutorial coming up very soon. I picked up the Royal Renowned Hourglass Concealers, okay, in the shades Teak, maple and flex and i used all three to create today's beautiful base look for you all what do y'all think i love it it does look very airbrushed as it claims love it love it love it you all for the reason for three shades is my skin tone color a nice you know concealing brightening shade and then a highlighting shade because i don't wear foundation i prefer to have multiple shades starting off with teak next up maple and then we have flex and this is what all three shades are looking like on my skin tone pretty 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 these are pretty penny so this was the perfect time up next i picked up my favorite brow pencil from sephora and that's the charlotte tilbury brow sheet pencil in the shade black brown and this is what she looks like and she's also what i'm wearing today i just love the skinny precision tip on this thing as well as the spoolie speaking of eyebrows the only product that i use to clean them up and get them nice and sharp is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. I've been using this thing for over five, six, seven years now. Absolutely love it and I have no plans to stop. This is in the shade Caramel. Perfect, perfect, perfect for defining your brows and even for an eyeshadow base. Another repurchase, my favorite, the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Powder. This is what she looks like. I love her in the shade 410. Just so pretty, so perfect to like set the rest of my face in place, all the places that don't have foundation. Love her. <laughs> also another product that I know I'll probably like never stop using, seriously. 
Up next, I picked up three products from One Size Beauty. I'm sure by now everyone is familiar with the infamous, okay, On Till Dawn Setting Spray. A recent release earlier this year is the Oil Sucker Primer. This is going to have your base nice and ready and tight and mattified, you know, so this is an oily girl's best friend, okay? Here's what she looks like. I love the packaging and like, you know, the red cap. So cute. And you get quite a bit of product in here. And I picked up the Tramp the Base Infinity Sponge. Known for its unique shape to apply liquids and powders and everything in between. I can't wait to put this to the test, especially with my concealers. Speaking of concealers, another favorite repurchase is the Makeup by Mario Concealer. This is the Surreal Skin Awakening in the shade 460. I use these on a daily basis, you all, and 460 is my favorite skin tone, color, and shade. Since this was released last year, I'll make sure to pick up one or two every sale. Okay, I can't get enough of this stuff. And here's what she looks like. All in the same color family. I know some of you may be thinking, how can this be my skin tone shades here with even the hourglass if, you know, they are popping up and showing. This is my left hand that I drive with. I'm still, you know, sun tanned from driving, you know, window. You all know how it goes. The left side of your body is always darker as a driver, okay? But trust and believe me, <laughs> it's my skin tone shade. It fits in there both perfect. So I'm not really a mascara type of gal, but when I do indulge, I want something nice. So I picked up the YSL Lash Clash Mascara in the shade Noir Black. And look at her, so pretty. It's the packaging for me. It's, it's the YSL hardware. Yeah. <laughs> and here are the fluffy bristles on this. So if I'm going to buy luxury, it's going to definitely be during the sale. Okay. Last but not least, let's get into lips and what I'm wearing. Sephora collection always has the highest percentage off, which is 30%, okay? So every day I make sure to pick up their Molasses Lip Liner. Super dark, super pretty, especially on brown and dark skin tones. And here's what she looks like. I just love how deep and rich that is. This entire year, I noticed that my go-to lip gloss was the Huda Beauty Full Filter in the shade Foxy. This is such a pretty everyday mauve brown color. She's so thick, but also so pigmented. You see that? Oh yeah, a dark skin girl's best friend. And last item, but certainly not least, is the newly released holiday collection, Fenty Beauty Glossy Posse Volume 7. This set features her original Gloss Balm Heat in Cherry, her original Gloss Balm Cream in Fenty Glow, and her newly released Gloss Balm Luminizer in Dragon Mommy. So pretty, when I saw this in the store, I had to get my hands on this. Rihanna knows what she's doing. This is so, so, so cute. Even the packaging, like, it's shaped like lips. Just like many things I featured today, I think this is also a nice, perfect gift for somebody. And here they are. This is where I'm wearing on my lips today. Super cute. <laughs> so yes, you all, that completes today's haul. I hope you all enjoyed it. I'm super excited to have all these new goodies in my collection and to involve them in my everyday routines. Please let me know, do you own any of these? Do you plan to pick any up? Let me know, let me know. Thank you all so much for tuning in and for watching. And as always, please do not forget to like this video, subscribe, comment down below so get a conversation going as always. Share this video with your friends and your family and you all. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.